Take three. <laughs> Nicole! Hello! Hi again! Hello! So, what are we doing today? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this <laughs> iron. <laughs> this wonderful iron. Alright, so what <laughs> iron do you have with you right now? This is the Smart U. Um, it gets that name because it has um, an app online where you can, where it will tell you that it's ready to go. Yes. It also tells you a variety of other things like when it's ready to clean and la 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 la. Um, now you have it folded up right now. I have it folded up. The other thing that's smart about it is, well, we'll get to that. Let's just get to that in a minute. In a minute. Right now it's folded up. See how slim it is? You can it tuck it wheels. away. Yep. Hold on, let me get a shot of the wheels. Let's get a little roll action. Yep. There we go. It has wheels. You can tuck it away um, to stow so that when you are um, not using it, it can it can be... Closet right next to your sewing desk. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we are going to flip it out right now, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Okay. You've been practicing. <laughs> Let's see I, it. I'm short, so this is a little bit not designed for me, but okay, we're going to persevere. So funny. it has a hinge right there that you saw allowed it to uh, flip out, and then using the same levers, you can raise and lower the iron if you need. Yeah. Okay. So now. Good height for me. You have a few doodads here that are still tucked away. What are these? Yeah, so you can see that this um, wire thing, this is the cord stand for it. It is against the board while it's stowed away. And then when we're ready to use it, we go like that. And then you have a silicone mat here. Yep, and that also folds out. Um, so you can, it's silicone on both sides. You can use both sides. Um, this right here, is another thing because this this um what do you, what do you call it it's the shoe this shoe sole it's the sole it's another sole i was plate. thinking of a hot shoe for a camera it's kind well, of appropriate for yeah I irons mean, too it's teflon this one is teflon um it's for, so delicate it's for delicate fabrics. fabrics it spreads the steam out more evenly anyway um so it goes right here and it'll hang neatly. Yep. And then if you need to, you can flip this. It also has this direction of hanging so that when it's in its stowing position, it can hang like this. Yep. I mean, they really thought of everything. Yes. Okay, and then... Hold on, before you take that out, let's get another shot of that. The okay. iron tucks away very nicely in this yep. little compartment. And the compartment is... Silicone lined, so that you do not have to wait for your iron to cool down before you stow it. That's correct. Yeah. So um, we can just set it right there. And yeah, it's pretty nice. So then this cord right here is um, where the water and also the power comes to the iron. Now let's talk a little bit about the iron itself while we're waiting for the iron. Yeah, so the iron itself has this um, really great um, steel plate, and then it also has this thing right here. This is raised up. We're jumping ahead. Can we turn the fan off? Oh, sure. Great. Okay, all right. 3D soul plate. 3D soul plate. So the 3D soul plate has... Um, a raised portion here where the steam is going to come out. Mm -hmm. And so it comes out continuously along this whole um, line. And so it's great for it's great for garments and things like that because this, oh, I mean, it's great for fabric because it, the steam is going to come into this section right here and spread out evenly as you've got the fabric against the 3D soul plate. They have a lovely diagram on their website. Yeah. That Philip showed us. That's right. Thank you, Philip. 
Thanks, Philip. Thank you, Philip, for making these irons. <laughs> well, Philip doesn't make the irons. <laughs> All right, so. Philip sells the irons. <laughs> so you have a few buttons here. Yeah, we got a few buttons. I'm I'm gonna purge this right now. Ready? Okay. So we want to purge it before we start using it because there could be condensation in the cord. And now you have three buttons, it looks like. Yep, I've got one on this side and one on this side. Both are steam. Mm -hmm. So if you're a lefty, you can use your thumb as well. See? Perfect. And if you're a righty, you can use your thumb. And then this one on the front is for the fan, which I will, sh should I demonstrate that now? Yes, let's okay. jump into the fan section. Okay, I'm gonna get this wrinkly fabric. Look how wrinkly it is. Woo! It's almost like we prepped that fabric to be wrinkly. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> now, okay. as you can see, that fan is blowing the fabric up. Yep, and the fan also has several settings. So one is it will blow the fabric up, and then the other is that it will um, pull the fa pull the fabric down, pull the air down. Ooh. It's refilling the tank. Yep. Um, and then the other functions that it has is I can make the fan go stronger. Should I show this button? Let's go down to the button section just okay. for a moment. So here's the, here's the fan button. Yes. And the fan button, I've got it on the lowest strength, so I can increase the strength of the fan mm -hmm. by pressing the button repeatedly. And then what is the button above it? This one is having me use the steam, at pul it's pulsing. The steam is pulsing. Mm -hmm. So that's why when you hear this, that's not me pushing the button in a pulsing fashion. It's just the iron does that automatically. I can have it on pulsing or I can have it on sensing. Um, so let's go back up to the top and see what that's like. You also can have both of those features turned off if you don't need them, correct? Um, I think you have to have one of them selected. Maybe. Let me check. Yes, you can have both of them off. <laughs> um, so this is continuous. Mm -hmm. And then this is pulsing, I mean, sorry, sensing. So I'm not pressing a button. It's just going, it's just giving steam as I'm moving the iron. The Maybe. fabric looks like it might get away from you. Yeah, I wish the board could pull the fabric down. So it has both a function where it blows the fabric away from the board and also pulls the fabric towards the board depending on what sort of activity or help you want from the system. Correct. That's right. And then it also, see that? So it's pulsing, I mean it's um, giving steam as I'm moving the iron. Let's get a close up of that. Ooh, you know what? Will you show the folks at home what it looks like down here when I when I steam while the board is pulling the air Oh, down? yeah, yeah. You ready? Okay. Yep. So as you can see, as you can see, the fan is pulling that steam. The fan is located right there. It's pulling the steam down through the board. Also through the fabric. 
So your fabric, so your steam is not going to sit on the fabric in this arrangement. Now, alternatively, if we were doing a garment and we wanted to give the garment lots of billowing steam, we could do that by, oops, by changing this the fan and having the fan go up, and then every time we steam, see the steam. Let's get a close up of that. So, say you were doing a quilt, you could have it on the other setting and it would pull the steam through the layers that you have. That's exactly right, Sam. You know exactly right. Yeah, so that is the thing, is that quilters, we want you to have the steam make contact with the, fa with the fabric only briefly and then have it pull through so that it doesn't bend the fabric and make it um, take a different shape. For garment sewists, we want it to take a shape, a specific shape, and so, and generally we want it to be sort of round, um, and so that works really, the opposite, the steam coming up into the fabric and really being a part of the shaping process is important. So overall, we've got a couple of settings for the fan that make it easier to put steam into the fabric and keep it in the fabric so that it's creating a... a <laughs> I've had to say this like 17 times. <laughs> so that it's taking shape. I do believe that it is real. It's actually happening. You saw it happen. Just use your eyes and watch it. <laughs> if you need my words, here they are. So overall... Overall... <laughs> Come on, one more time, one more time. We got this, we got this. Okay, you, <laughs> this okay. Time, the last time's the charm. Overall, this is a multi-purpose board ironing system. And what's great about it is the fan allows you to use it for multiple purposes. You could be, you know, using a big piece of fabric here and you're wanting to get lots of steam into it to um, loosen up wrinkles or whatever. Um, or you could be finishing a quilt and putting seams in and you want it to, you want the steam to make contact, but you want it to leave quickly so it doesn't um, change the shape of your, of your project. And that um, is the second function of the, of the fan. The board offers a lot of versatility that you may not necessarily get in the well, yeah. other version that we will be mentioning Correct. in a moment that's right it does that is sort of the big difference is that this is an ironing system which allows you to have lots of flexibility for different types of uses the other iron which we'll show you in a moment also has multiple settings for steam but it does not do what the fan does in this system yes now we have a few sitting behind you, or a couple. Yeah, these are full. They have actual iron systems in them. This is their special edition 1980 special edition. Um, the reason why it's uh, 1980 is because that is when they were founded. It's also the year I was born, which makes it an important year. <laughs> um, the iron is kind of a gold tone iron and so is the um, so is the tank and then it has this special board on it it's pretty yes it's really pretty now, it also comes with a storage cover that's right so when it's in the stowing format it has a cover that goes over it now let's jump over shall we yeah Two. Let's jump over to the to the lift. This is the lift. And Bring see, it on over here. see the point of the name? It's easy to stow. Portable. It's so see how everything is together? Mm -hmm. So we've got the tank here. This is the system that's gonna heat the tank or the water. 
kind of put it through the hose. And then this is the iron. Same iron for all intents and purposes. It's the same. There are some differences, which I'll show you in a second. But it's the same iron, same shape, same size. Um, and the coil... Which, by the way, can I just talk about the size of this iron for a second? It's a great, well-balanced size. Do you see the relationship of the size of this thing to my hand? The nice... The reason that it's like that is because the water tank is stored off of the iron itself. Exactly. Because here's the thing, people. You don't need a giant iron. You don't. You don't need it to be bigger than this. This is exactly the perfect size. In fact, a lot of times... I, I know this happened, used to happen to me with my other irons, my previous irons. The size of the iron, because it was accommodating a tank... Um, gets in the way of, you know, when you're ironing out a seam, it gets in the way of, of what you're doing. Like you're trying to get this little bit right here ironed flat and the rest of it is getting all jacked up because you're pressing it. You also get wonderful pressure from the tanks um, on these irons because it can store up more pressure um, and gives you more steam time. Right. Yeah. That's right. Um, so, on the, I'll just talk about what's on this unit. On this unit, we have the same thing, the, the silicone um, mat for, for putting your iron on. And that tucks away nicely. And that nicely. tucks away onto here. I yes. didn't dust it, so don't take it too close to the lock. <laughs> um, but then also, this is silicone here so that you can... If you're, you know, in a hurry and you're just trying to put this thing away, you can put it all away hot. doesn't need to wait. It also has... Um, Do be careful when you're trying to wrap it up and the iron is still hot. Safety first, please. Yeah, I just had to twist that around. Because... Okay, so see how the, the hose also wraps around and has this nice little... These nice little feet right here that hold everything in, including the power cord. Yep. It is just really, I mean, one of the things I like so much about this one is it looks really cute in my sewing room. We both have this one for context. Yeah. It's just like it, you know, it sits there next to my sewing table, next to my ironing board, um, and it just looks really cute. Okay, let me just talk real quick about this sole plate. So see the difference here, these two sole plates? Yes. This one is raised up. This one is completely flat. If you are doing almost only piecing with your ironing, not garments, but only piecing, like, like quilting, this is the sole plate you want. You can get the ironing board system with this sole plate. So if you like this system with the fan and stuff, which of, co of course you do like it, who, who wouldn't? Um, you can get a board that has this sole plate iron. If you, um, I'm not going to say this, I mean, this does work with piecing for sure, but you can sometimes get the edge of your, of your seam or, or your, um, seam allowance stuck in this little bit right here. So, which can be aggravating. So anyway. You we, can get this. 3D sole plate on the Lift Extra, correct? That's right, yes. Yeah. So, actually, I think it might be the Lift Plus, this one. It's certainly on the Lift Extra, and then there is a plastic version on the Lift Plus. It shows it right there. Here it is. Yep. The, it's a different insert, but it allows for that 3D sole plate. Yep. Yep. Um... So this one's in stock too. This is this is a really cute color also. They have great color options for the uh, for the portable version. I should say like the smaller tank versions. Yep. Yeah, that's really cute. Um, now the tanks on both the Smart U and the smaller versions they come off, so you can refill those. Oh yeah, I should just show you. That's a, that's how easy it is. Yep. Just take that over to the sink. They both take tap water. Yep, no no need for distilled water or anything like that. 
It's just tap water and then um, it will tell you when the tank is empty and needs to be refilled. Um, same thing with this one, with the big one. That's a great iron. And they come in pink and black. There's like and a graphite white color. And graphite, yep. Lots of great fun colors. We have blue in stock. We have the two special editions in stock. And you should come and get them. Because they're really big and they take up a lot of space in this shop. And we want the space. Small little shop. We want you to take this home. Yes. To your space. All righty, folks. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Have a great day. Bye.